Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly clean your MacBook screen or any computer screen, phone screen, you name it. I'm going to give you the best tips and tricks and you can do it with items that you probably already have laying around your house. Okay, first and foremost, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move this over for a second. And I have a towel here. I'm going to lay it down just so that my MacBook is on more of a soft surface. Because what we're going to do is we're going to flip it on its end in a way. I'll show you here. And then I'm gonna show you the materials that we're gonna be using. I'll also show you how to clean a mouse. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I'm gonna put it screen side down. Now when you clean, you wanna clean your screen first and then you wanna move down to the keyboard. What happens is the oils from your fingers and the acid from your fingers accumulates here on the keyboard. And then when you shut the screen, it lands and transfers onto the screen. So we're gonna clean the screen first and then we're gonna move on down to the keyboard. So we'll go like this here. Now I just have in this bottle right here, some rubbing alcohol. This is 70% rubbing alcohol in the spray bottle. And then I have, if you have children, you know what this is. This is a baby nose sucker. You do not need this. You could use a hair dryer um, on cool heat if you really wanted to, and you just could use it to blow oh so gently across the screen, any extra debris. Um, I have a lot of kids, so I have a lot of these laying around the house. A Q-tip to get any, any sort of uh, nooks and crannies. And then I also have two microfiber towels. I just buy a pack of these either at Walmart or Sam's Club or Costco or anywhere. Um, one for drying and one that's gonna be wet here. So I'll just go ahead and take my nose sucker and I'm just gonna kind of squirt out any extra debris that I can. The less liquid that we use, the better. Uh, the less we have to put our fingers on there to get up any nooks or dust or anything that's stuck up in there if you eat over your keyboard um, sometimes things will fall in there but I'm just going to use this to do a temporary uh, blow out of anything I know they have dusters and that sort of thing but this is all just cleaning your macbook or your computer screen with items that you probably have already laying around your house. So the rubbing alcohol is nice because it contains the alcohol which means that it will dry quickly and it will help um, eat at any of the acid and grease that's on your fingertips. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that. The next thing that you're gonna do is I like to spray directly on the cloth and I like to do it oh so gently. I mean, hardly any on there. The less, the better. So probably that might even be a little bit too much. So let me just rub it in there. It's just oh so damp to touch from the fingertip. Now some people when they do this, they like to rub in circular motions. I don't prefer that. I think that it smears. So this is what I like to do. I like to just take my cloth and I'll probably go like this so that I have a nice kind of bunch like this. And if I want to, I'm just gonna spray over here a little bit off the keypad. I want it up more towards the top, the rubbing alcohol, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull top to bottom across the screen, kind of like a squeegee, and I'm not pressing very hard at all. I just want to get that layer of film off that's on the screen, like that. And I can already see the dust coming up. I have not cleaned this in, drum roll please, <laughs> almost two years. I know, it's crazy to say. I just get used to it and I just keep working and I think, oh, I just don't wanna take the time to clean it, but it is oh so easy to clean. And then once you clean it, you're happy that you clean it and you think to yourself, why did I take so long to clean it? So I usually go about two um, kind of rounds like that. And then I'm gonna take, again, the top of the cloth. I'm not gonna wet it, it's still damp enough. I'm just gonna pull uh, back to front, so to speak, in motions like this. And I can see it's already looking so much better. And I'll do it again. Very, very, very light pressure, if at any all. And I can see a spot here, and we're gonna get that up in a second. I don't wanna be putting my fingers down on the screen at all. Now this is where the Q-tip can come in handy. I'm just gonna take it here, like a piece of fuzz or something on the screen, and just wipe it off here on the towel. You see anything else in the cracks you can go and get that I have not sprayed this down what I could do is I could go ahead and just put a little here in the uh, 
microfiber towel. Kind of let it soak into the microfiber towel. I would maybe blot my Q-tip in there just to get it oh so slightly damp. And then just get around these edges where a lot of debris can accumulate. And I can see one little spot here on the screen. I'm gonna go across one more time. There's one little spot here. I'm just gonna kind of rub a little bit, tiny circular motions with my Q-tip and wipe it away. One little one here. Wipe it away. Something flew up on there. I don't know what that was. Um, I can see a little spot here. I'm just gonna take that Q-tip. Something sticky. <laughs> I've been guilty of eating in front of my computer screen. I hate to say that, but it's true. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my dry one here. Just make sure everything, there's no moisture left on the screen. And once I'm done here, I'm gonna leave the screen open for a couple hours. And it's gonna look oh so good. I'll just go over it a couple times here, and then we'll move on to the keyboard, and then finally, our mouse, if you do have an external mouse that you use. Excellent. Okay, moving on to the keyboard. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over. Very similar process when we are cleaning the keyboard portion. I'm gonna take my damp cloth. Again, if there's anything else stuck in here, see if I can just get it out with the air. They make professional things of these that are not for your nose, but it's the same concept. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna spray my cloth. You can see there, let the alcohol absorb into the microfiber towel. It's just very, very um, lightly damp. Going across the keyboard. <laughs> There we go. One more time. And then again, you can take your Q-tip if you find that there's any remnants of things. Be careful if you have like a ring on or something. If you do this, it could scratch the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch hands. Getting in these nooks and crannies back here. Dust likes to accumulate back there. And then if you had anything inside the, um, the keys here, I do like to just take it and go across. Just an oh so tiny bit of rubbing alcohol if you wanted to. You could just dab it on the cloth where you had your rubbing alcohol. And this will help sanitize as well, which I really like. It makes me feel better. Clean through the keys. Got a little something here, so I'll just take this and just rub a little bit. That came right off. A little bit there in the keypad, a little bit there, drop of something. It's amazing how much gunk can accumulate on these. And then I'll just take my dry one, and same thing, just swipe over it. I'll leave this open a couple hours just to ensure that there's no remaining moisture. All right, let's move on to the mouse. This is super easy. Now you could get a toothpick because you can see in mine has sort of this little um, groove and sometimes things get caught in there around the edges right here. But so far it is looking okay. If you want to know how to clean your AirPods or ear pods, this is a very similar process. Microfiber towel, rubbing alcohol, and not a Q-tip, although this can help, but a toothpick. And then I'll just wipe it down again very, very minimum moisture, if anything, when you're doing this. There we go. All around. Take your dry one. We'll wipe it off. And you're good to go. I thought I'd show you something else here that's pretty satisfying. Can you see the end of this Q-tip? It's like black. Pretty gross, huh? As far as cleaning the top, what I would do is again, I'm just gonna spray here on my microfiber towel, dampen. Be very, very careful that you're not getting any sort of anything in there. 
All right, we're gonna wipe and wipe. And again, I don't love circular motions. I think it leaves more of a streaking. Professional window cleaners will often do a Z motion, which is like back and forth, or an S. So I treat this kind of as if I were a professional MacBook cleaner. And these tips that I share with you are tips given to me by MacBook uh, employees. And there we go. And then we'll dry the top of it as well with our dry one. It's looking so shiny. And you can see here, there's something on my lid right here. So I'm just gonna take my Q-tip See if we can get that off. Yep, came right off. Take this, wipe it down. Well, now that we're really getting in there, I can see something else right here. Y'all see that? And this is just barely damp from before. Right up here. We can make this look brand spanking new. Looking good, bright, shiny, and new. All right, if we are not friends on Instagram, come on over and say hello. Also, lots of goodies in that description box below. Newsletter sign up. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning and organizing channel is one way that I do that. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.